I haven't recorded a video in like a year. Okay, this is my third attempt to film this video. First time, the footage was all blurry. Second time, I got food poisoning halfway through filming. So here we are four days later, trying again. <laughs> This is a kind of different kind of video, but one of my favorite things in the world to do is thrift shop. I love thrifting and I go thrift shopping probably way too often. <laughs> Anyways, I just love looking for a good deal. I love the treasure hunt of it. My mom has always been an avid thrift shopper, so I grew up thrift shopping with her and it's pretty much the only way I shop for clothes now. So anyways, I have been thrift shopping as usual and so I thought that it would be fun to sit down and just show you all the clothes that I've thrifted over the last little while and I've seen other people do these and I find it really interesting just to see what people find. I'm just going to grab kind of what's next to me. I've got a massive pile of clothes and I'll just show you what I found. I'll try it on for you and um, tell you how much it costs, what the brand is, and what store I found it out. So. Let's go ahead and get started. The first thing I have here is a sweater. Um, this is from the brand American Eagle. And it's just this mustard and white striped sweater. And I love yellow. I'm so glad that yellow is in right now. Um, it's always been one of my favorite colors. So this was from American Eagle. It's in the size small and it was $4. And I got that from DI. The next thing I found um, is an overall dress. I love overalls and I love overall dresses. I think these are super cute in the fall too with like a, just a long sleeve shirt underneath um, and like tights and booties. I think it's really cute. And um, uh, this is from the brand Levi's, which I thought was really good and it was a size small. I got this one from Savers and this was $5. <laughs> Something you should know about the way I thrift shop. I feel like I tend to gravitate towards two things, either like boutique brands, um, brands that are like currently in little boutiques everywhere. I like to look for those. I know they're current and trendy and I also feel like I'm getting a really good deal because those brands being sold in boutiques are being sold for like a lot of money I think way too much way overpriced so that's one thing and then I feel like on the opposite end of the spectrum I tend to lean towards like grandma brands <laughs> I'm sure my husband loves hearing that <laughs> but I feel like the other stuff I pick out I don't even look I don't look for grandma brands but I feel like I find things and I'm like oh that's cute and then I look at the tag and I'm like oh this yeah this is for grandmas <laughs> So anyways, this sweater makes me think of that. It's like, I feel like it could be granny, but I feel like it could also be cute if I style it the right way. Um, it's just a cream sweater, but it's got this like little ruffle hem kind of at the sleeve, the neckline, and the um, hemline. And I got this one from DI also. It was $5. <laughs> okay, and the brand, you wanna hear? You want to hear a grandma brand? Let's hear it. This is a terrible name. Sag Harbor. <laughs> <laughs> what clothing company chooses Sag Harbor as a brand? That definitely sounds like grandma clothes. Yeah. Oh dear. Okay. Um, the next thing I have is just a very simple long sleeve Henley tee. Um, I love Henleys. I think they're cute on guys and girls and I just think they're like a little bit more exciting than a basic t-shirt. I also really like them just layered um, in fall with like jackets and cardigans and I am also a sucker for stripes. I love stripes. So this is just a black and white stripe long sleeve Henley. It's from Down East originally. It's a size large. Um, I believe this was $2. It doesn't have the tag on it anymore, but very simple. Gotta have those kind of staples for fall. Um, the next thing I have is a navy <clears throat> navy sweater, but I liked it because it has this like yellow and white stripe down the like arm, which I think is interesting and cute. Um, I think it's really cute and comfy, and I just love sweaters in the fall. They're fun. 
Um, this is the brand Stylus, um, and this was four dollars. Okay, this next shirt I got, I feel like this kind of shirt is really popular right now. Um, it's got the buttons down the front, and then it has like a tie in the front. Um, and it's longer in the back, shorter in the front. Uh, this is just kind of like a tan color. Um, it's got like short sleeves. It's really comfy. I got this one from Savers. It's from the brand Emberly, which is one of those boutique brands I was talking about. Um, and it's a size small. And I got this for $3. And because this is a boutique brand, I feel like this probably would have been like 30 plus dollars in the store. So, good deal. Okay, this next sweater I was super excited to find because I am always looking for stripes and like different color stripes and like I feel like the color blocking look is really big right now. This is from one of those boutique brands as well. It's called Haley & Co. Uh, it's a size small and I got it for $4. And this is kind of, it's like a sweater slash thermal material, but it's like cream and then it's got a pink, yellow, and navy stripe that I think is really cute. And it's got these sleeves that are kind of balloon sleeves, but these are like really, really mild balloon sleeves because the full-on ones, I think, make me look like a Oompa Loompa. So, this is, this, these are acceptable. Okay, so one quick thrift tip for you is to keep a list in your phone of items you are particularly on the hunt for. Um, I find that this just helps me to stay focused when I'm thrift shopping. Um, I like to check this list I have in my notes app just to see what things I've been loving on Pinterest and elsewhere and what things I'm particularly looking for. So I have that list and I refer to it often when I'm out shopping and it just helps me stay focused and check things off more. This next dress I really like. It's like a dusty blue color and it's got this white embroidery down the front. Um, it is from the Grand Polygram, which is another big boutique brand around here. It's a size medium um, and I got it for $5 from Savers. Uh, this in stores probably would have been like 60 bucks. So again, really awesome find. And I was super excited. I'm always really excited when I find like a really high-end brand um, like Madewell, which this shirt was. This says it's an extra small, so it must be oversized because it fits, I feel like, more like a medium. But it's uh, a white blouse. Um, it's got this cute ruffle on the sleeve. It's the like baby doll peplum style and then a ruffle at the bottom. I think it's really cute. It's a little dressier. It'd be really cute with some skinny jeans and some booties for like a date night, I think. Okay, here's another granny shirt coming right at ya. If you ever find, <laughs> if you ever see a brand called Basic Editions, that is like granny 101. Um, so that's what this shirt is. It's basic edition, size medium. It was $2. I think my husband hates this shirt, but I really like it. Um, it's just like a tan color. It's got like a lace at the neck. It's ribbed and it's just really easy, comfortable to throw on, tuck into some jeans. Okay, the next shirt, it's like a sweater slash shirt. I think it's like three quarter length sleeve though, so it doesn't feel like a full on sweater. It's Banana Republic brand. Um, size medium is five dollars and I like the neckline here because it's got this like little twisty at the bust which I think is flattering especially when you don't have so much going on in the bust region like me. <laughs> One thing about thrift shopping it is a good day when you can find overalls or a jumpsuit at the thrift store because I feel like those are super big right now so people aren't donating them as much but um, every now and then you can find one and you have to jump on it when you do. So I was really excited to find this. It's a linen overalls, a pair of linen overalls in like a gray and white stripe, really subtle. Um, it's got that kind of flared leg and cropped pant length, which is really big right now. Um, I think it's really cute. Obviously I won't be able to wear this when it gets super cold, but I think it'll be cute at the beginning of fall with like a long sleeve white shirt underneath and some booties or some mules. And this was the brand Sadie and Sage and they were $5. All right, this next shirt um, is something I already kind of altered since buying. Um, 
I love that with thrift shopping you can get a really good deal on things and take the chance kind of of altering them and if it doesn't work out you haven't blown a ton of money on it so it's okay <laughs> but with this one it's just this long sleeve baby doll top with some embroidery on the top floral embroidery and then I love that it has like these like raised polka dots on it this fun texture but when I bought it it's a size extra large which is a little too big for me um, and the back was open it had like ties down the back and I was not really about that so I just sewed up the back which took it in a little bit more um, made it fit a little better so I really like it now um, and this was by the brand Skyler and Jade and it was five dollars all right this next find um, I really love graphic t-shirts I feel like they're just super easy no-brainer things to throw on on an everyday basis Really cute tucked into jeans and in the fall you can throw on a cardigan or a light jacket and be good to go. So this t-shirt I thought was really cute. It's a Smokey and the Bear, Smokey and the Bear, Smokey the Bear t-shirt. Um, and it was $2, it's a size small. And um, I actually found also, I actually also found a sweatshirt, like a pullover sweatshirt. That is also Smokey the Bear. It says, remember, only you can prevent wildfires. I don't know why, but I think it's really cute, the whole logo and stuff. Also, my husband used to be a wildland firefighter, so I feel like I should rep Smokey the Bear, you know? <laughs> yes. Mm. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. Mmm. Mmm. Yum. Yeah, I love ice cream. Next up is a white top. I have way too many white tops in my closet, like 20 white shirts. Yeah, I just love white shirts. They're like my go-to kind of. Um, this could be maybe considered a granny shirt again, but I really like it. It's from the brand Chances Are, size medium. It was $3 and it's just this white shirt. It's got some fun texture to it and I really liked that the neckline has like an eyelet detail and a scalloped edge as well as the sleeves and the hemline. Um, I could see myself wearing this with a high-waisted pair of jeans and some mules and then throwing on a jacket or a cardigan as the weather gets a little cooler. Next up I have a dress. This is kind of wrinkly because I already wore it and just washed it but um, it's from the brand Old Navy. It's a size extra small. Um, I feel like this is a pretty fall color. It's kind of like a wine cranberry color. Um, and it's got like a ruched um, neckline, waist, and then like a ruffle at the hem. I just think it was really flattering and it's cute with mules or it'd be cute with a jean jacket as the weather gets cooler. Uh, this was $6 and again from DI. Okay, I have another dress. This is not very folly. I am fully aware of that, but I think it's really cute and um, also I am nursing our baby right now currently, so I've been on the hunt for nursing, bleh. so I've been on the hunt for nursing friendly dresses, which is not the easiest thing to find actually, especially at the thrift store, but so I was excited when I found this dress. This is a, it's like a silky white fabric with floral pattern um, and it's buttons all the way down and then it's got like an eyelet trim at the waistline and at the sleeves which I thought was really pretty and again not very fall but I'm wearing it right now and I'm sure I'll wear it again when the weather warms up again. This is from the brand Pretty Little Thing and it was $8. Okay I've got two more clothing pieces and then some shoes. Alright, another thing I feel like is really big right now that I'm really liking are windbreakers. I think they're really cute. They, they kind of have like an athletic vibe to them that I really like. You can throw them on with some leggings and some trainers or you can put them on with some skinny jeans or some mom jeans and some booties and I think they're really cute. I'm looking for some bright colored ones but I found this one that I also really like and it's just a black windbreaker but it's got this cute collar it zips down halfway it's got the front pocket and i think this will just be nice to throw on for 
Saturdays when we're going on family hikes or going to a football game or whatever. Super easy. And this was $4 and it's from Old Navy in a size medium. Okay, the last clothing piece I have, I was really excited to find this. I think this style of dress is really flattering and it, I've seen it a lot lately, a lot lately. This is from another boutique brand called Bali. Um, it's a size extra small and so it fits a little more snugly than I'm used to, especially after having a baby, but it's like a thicker material. So I think it hides lumps and bumps a little better than some of those simple thin knits that just kind of cling to all your spots. I feel like this kind of sucks me in, <laughs> which is nice. Um, it's got this pretty stripe in it of this like dusty blue, a salmon, and a cranberry color. This was $8 and it's got the buttons down the front, the top, that like wrap with the buttons. Um, so nursing friendly. It's got a tie at the waist and then it's just straight down and it's about midi length which I really like. I think that's the length I'm most comfortable in. And I love, I like that it has these um, slits up the side as well. Next, I have three pairs of boots booties. Um, I pretty much live in booties in the fall and winter. That's like pretty much all I wear. First up, I got this pair of boots. I think these are really cute. They're different than what I have. They feel more like outdoorsy, rugged. Um, I think this would be cute with some jeans and uh, like a flannel. Um, and these were $6 from DI. Next, I have very basic but just tried and true pair of black ankle boots, ankle booties with a pointed toe. I love the point. I think this is so flattering and elongates your leg really nicely, which I need because I have short legs. Um, I just love these and I love this fabric it's I don't know what it's called but they're like the slick ones so it's not gonna get damaged by water and snow and they're super easy to clean these were eight dollars and um, they are from Old Navy originally and these are like in brand new condition like they look like they have not been worn okay. last pair of shoes I found um, are these ones I think these are so so cute they're just like this camel color they've got the zip down the side they're like, have this like eyelet laser cut detail on the front, which I think is so cute. Um, I love, love, love booties. And I love camel. I feel like it goes with absolutely everything. These are from the brand Cupid, which is a boutique brand here. Um, and I got these for $8 at Savers. Okay guys, um, I think that's everything I have. That was a lot of stuff. <laughs> I hope you found this interesting. Um, maybe there are some of you out there that are no nosy, just like me, and like to see what other people are buying and what other people have in their closets. And of course, I will be posting a refashioning or sewing video soon. Anyways, I hope that you are all doing great, and um, I hope you all have a yummy big bowl of ice cream waiting for you at the end of this video, like I do. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Bye, guys. My little boy said to me the other day to me and my husband, I want a baby in my tummy. And my husband goes, sorry, hen, you're, you're not going to have a baby in your tummy. You're a boy, you can't. And he goes, please? <laughs> it was so cute. Like, we can change that. He thinks that please will get him anything. I love Gordon Ramsay, just side note. My husband tells me I'm just super, super nosy. Because <laughs> every time we drive past people's houses, I'm like, I want to just walk through their house and um, what is in their closet. <laughs> is that weird? Um, okay, what should I say? And say how much each pop, peach, each, little, little, that, <laughs> you can't look at me while I'm filming. <laughs> so something funny about booties, when like ankle booties became super popular a couple years ago, I put them on my Christmas list and my husband was like, what are these? And I was like, oh, booties, they're like ankle boots, but they're like really short. He was like, okay, I'm trying to picture them. So anyways, he ended up texting one of my best friends and was like, hey, can you send me a picture of booties, what they look like? I was going to Google it, but I feel like I probably shouldn't be on the web doing an image search for booties. <laughs> I thought that was funny. <laughs>